you're searching for a compact, right. powerful <laughs> All right, let's pause it. Let's pause hundreds. it. Yeah, so, you know, in this video, we're going to be primarily reacting to the new River 3 Plus. That's this one over here. Because I already did a video. I just did a video on this new River 3. This is the shortest one right there. So let's kind of watch the video and see, you know, let's see what they have to say. <laughs> let's see if they can convince you to buy one of these. Back up all outdoor adventures. Keep watching to learn more about why the EcoFlow River 3 series is right for you. All right. <laughs> and another thing is, what, ha what happened to Tim? <laughs> like, who's this guy? So let's get started. This new River 3 Plus has an LED light. <laughs> and you might say, well, what's the big deal about that? Well, guess what? EcoFlow, they never put little lights on these power stations. They're like the only company that doesn't. And, you know, it makes so much sense to have a light, you know, because <laughs> if you're using these things in a power outage and it's dark, yeah, you know, just have a light right on the power station. First, Let's check out what's in the box. Both River 3 models have a quick start guide and warranty, AC cable, and car charging cable. The River 3 Plus also includes a USB Type B to USB Type A UPS communication cable, which we'll cover later. The River 3 series is incredibly compact. So, evidently, that cable, I guess you connect it to your computer. You know, if you're using the UPS, you know, chances are you're using it for a computer, right? It is around 30% smaller than the industry average. So it's super easy to carry in your bag or store in small places, despite the size. Of now, you know, when I looked at this new River 3, just the regular one, yeah, you know, they said 30% smaller, but really it was just 30% shorter, you know, the width and the depth of it was the same and the weight the weight was the same too the river 3 series is really powerful river 3 comes with a 245 watt hour capacity and the river 3 plus has a 286 watt hour capacity that's plenty of energy for a short outage or a weekend getaway and as the name suggests river 3 plus is also expandable but more on that later all new e and i guess that's you know, that's why EcoFlow started using that plus term. So, you know, because like Jackery was using plus. The plus, I guess, means it's expandable. EcoFlow batteries use LFP, so you can get up to 3,000 charge cycles. That's about 10 years of use. Now we're going to dive into some detailed functions and specs. On the right-hand side of the River 3, you'll find two AC outlets with a total 300-watt rated output. Now, River 3 Plus has three 600-watt AC outlets. We'll check out the other two in a little bit. These can handle appliances up to 1,200 watts with X-Boost. You can run your coffee maker or hair dryer without any issue. At the center of the unit... So that's interesting because it's getting the bigger inverter, isn't it? But it's still got small capacity. There are two USB Type-A and a 100-watt USB Type-C port for your small electronics like cell phones, laptops, cameras, and drones. On the left, there's a car output port for appliances that need direct current like air pumps, car vacuums, and car fridges. Speaking of output, one standout feature of the River 3 series is its use of GAN technology. It's more efficient than traditional silicon, enhancing power efficiency for appliances under 100 watts. Yeah, so this is actually a big deal because, you know, if you have if you have a power station with a small inverter, you're going to be running small loads with it, aren't you? Now, you know, of course, ideally you want to power stuff with DC, but yeah, sometimes you just need to plug something in. So this new GAN technology, gallium nitride, it's more efficient. It's a, it's a material replacement versus the old silicon, you know, silicon chip. It's just a, sep it's, it's a new material that allows it to be more efficient this means double runtime for networking devices, lighting, and more. For example, River 3 can run your 3 watt Wi Fi router or LED lights for more than 30 hours, while River 3 Plus can run for even 35 hours. 
When you turn on the main power button, the LCD screen displays the remaining battery percentage, charge, recharge time, and input-output power. It also shows operating status icons, so you can easily monitor the unit's performance. The River 3 Plus screen has a new UI that displays more deep. Okay, so this, this is kind of, it's weird. It's pros and cons here. So it's not the same screen that the new Delta models have got which is excellent, you know, it just, it looks fantastic, but it's kind of got similar graphics to it. But as you can see, you know, it doesn't have that real high resolution, high contrast, high brightness contrast display. In fact, it's, it's actually worse than the standard River 3. You know, it's got this real dim, like blue tinted light to it, doesn't it? And I mean, it, it's almost hard. It's almost hard to read it here in an indoor setting. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's like good luck. Good luck seeing this thing outside. I mean, maybe there is a you know a screen brightness setting in the app or something, and it just happens to be turned all the way down. I don't know, but still, if if you look at this video, it's like. It's, it's not just the brightness; it's the color. It's kind of like harder on your eyes because it's this blue color. Whereas. If you notice it's the River 3, like the Delta series, yeah, right there, you can River see it. River 3 Plus has a built-in strip light, perfect for outdoors or even as a desk lamp. On the sides, you'll find heat vents that improve the heat dissipation. Below these, the River 3 has input ports, while the River 3 Plus has them on the back. Under the protective cover, there's an AC input port that charges the unit to 100%. Yeah, and the, the thing is, too, these, like, renderings these videos that they show you can see the screen looks completely different it does have the bright white look to it but you know evidently this you know it's not <laughs> it's not real sent in just one hour ideal for quickly powering up before a trip for those concerned about battery health ecoflow uses automotive grade full tab batteries with higher efficiency and safety so fast charging won't damage the battery the solar so th that's interesting. I mean, I guess it's not going to damage it. And maybe they're already, you know, they're already figuring that in to the cycle life because they're saying 3,000 cycles on this thing. So not quite as much as like the new Delta series, which they're rating at 4,000 cycles. So, you know, it, it is probably shortening the life if you do a lot of these one hour fast charges. But that's factored in. You know, you'll still get 3,000 cycles. The car input ports support up to 220 watts solar and 100. Yeah, so uh, I'm in the way here. I'm actually in the way. But, and I can't really move it. My computer will crash. But, yeah, it says 220. 220 for the River 3 Plus. So, and they don't state the voltage, but, you know, just going on what we know about the old river two it's probably that same input right it's probably that same mppt that could actually do 50 volts as well so this is again this is really interesting that they're giving you these bigger specs you know the bigger inverter and a lot more solar with not only just more watts but a higher voltage well we're guessing about the voltage they're giving you all of that, you know, in this small, it's still a small power station, isn't it? Because it's only 288 watt hours. So, you know, if you don't, hey, if you don't need a lot of the extra capacity, but you want all these bigger features, you know, you might, you might want to take a look at this new plus model. 10 watt car input, 220 watt solar, the River 3 Plus can charge in as little as one and a half hours. You can also use EcoFlow's new compact 45 watt and 60 watt portable solar panel. They're easy to carry, ideal for generating energy while hiking or traveling. They even have a USB type C port for directly charging your phone with solar energy. On the back of the River 3 Plus, there's a USB type B UPS communication port and two additional AC outlets. These ports are connected to River 3 Plus Pro grade UPS feature providing uninterrupted power to critical appliances. Both River 3 Plus and River 3 can achieve extremely fast switchover speeds. 
River 3 has less than 20 milliseconds auto switch, constantly powering home appliances like small fridges, security cameras, and IoT terminals. River 3 Plus switchover is less than 10 milliseconds for a professional UPS solution. It protects even more sensitive equipment, including desktop computers, NAS, Wi-Fi routers, and gaming consoles. These two AC outlets... Yeah, so less than 10 milliseconds on the Plus model, because, yeah, the regular River 3 just gets that 20 milliseconds... That was the one that they used to call just EPS because they didn't even want to call it UPS. It's questionable that that, you know, that one will work. But yeah, the River 3 Plus, it will work, basically. It will work. It's on the back. Make River 3 Plus. Yeah, and this is awesome, too. So there's an outlet on the front for AC, and then there's two more on the back. So, you know, I mean, generally, I like to have everything on the front, but this is awesome just because it gives you an option, doesn't it? Gives you an option. So, you know, that's always better than no option, isn't it? And interesting too, there's like, this is like a little door. You notice that? This is like a little door that slides down instead of a cover that like, you know, flips open or something that's gonna be in the way. Plus even more convenient. You can access them while connecting your computer, fridge, or gaming device without seeing any unsightly cable. There's also a UPS power output bar on the front screen that displays the power output status of the AC outlets in real time. Each bar represents 120 watts, helping you determine whether all connected appliances are under UPS protection. Unlike using traditional UPS products, you'll enjoy a more peaceful backup experience. Yeah, so they're really trying to market this as like mainly almost like as a UPS. You know, the fact that it can do all the other power station stuff, including the solar, is just awesome. With x -Quiet technology, the River 3 series operates on a library-like level of silence. With a volume less than 30 decibels. In addition to being really easy to use, both models have an integrated handle, so they're really easy to carry. On the bottom of the River 3 Plus, there's a protective cover hiding the extra battery connection port. Yeah, so, and you can imagine, well, let's watch the video. You can imagine how this is going to go. And clip for expanding the battery's capacity. The River 3 Plus has two LFP extra battery options, the EB300 and the EB600. Let me show you how to connect an extra battery with a River 3 Plus. Just like that, it's connected. So this is, this is a game changer, really, isn't it? Especially for this size class. You know, he basically just converted a very small portable power station, 10 pounds, now into something that's, you know, almost the size of that new Delta 3, the Delta 3 Plus. And then, you know, if you want to go camping or something, you can disconnect it and have something very light, very portable. The extra battery connects wirelessly using pogo pin technology, and it's the first time it's been seen at this power station size, eliminating the need for cables and making it easy to adapt. Still though, that you can see that screen. Why did they cheap out on that screen? It's so dim and blue. To your power need. You can expand energy storage gradually and use it in all situations from home backup to outdoor use. The extra batteries go beyond capacity expansion with a 140 watt USB Type-C port. They also offer additional input and output. Take it along for independent power on the go. You can also use the EcoFlow app to monitor and control your River 3 series remotely via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Here on the main screen, we have a dashboard showing basic info, including the battery status and input-output data. Plus, there's a new power statistics panel that accumulates your unit's usage data. You can tap this button to turn off your unit from a distance. If you go to settings, you can see all kinds of customizable options. Set limits, backup percentage, and scheduled tasks. We also have some additional features, such as the low battery warning and state of health. Once you set alerts, you'll receive reminders to recharge or prepare avoiding power loss in emergencies and ensuring safety. With the state of health, you can check the health of your batteries in real time so that you can repair or replace them. 
Now, you might be wondering, which one should I choose? It's kind of a weird statement, isn't it? Especially since he was saying earlier in the video that you can fast charge these things no problem without affecting the battery health. And now he's saying there's, you can actually check the battery health in the app and you can see if you might need to replace the battery. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. You know, these LFP batteries, 3,000 cycles, that's 80% of new capacity. So you can still, you still use them for a long time even after that. I guess it's just, it's probably just a thing that's going to pop up and tell you to buy a new model. <laughs> you know, spend more money on a new EcoFlow. If I'm looking for an entry-level portable power station, River 3 or River 3 Plus. If you need a lightweight portable power station for low power devices like LED lights and smartphones, the River 3 is ideal. If you need a backup power source for home use or to support sensitive equipment during outages, the River 3 Plus is the better choice. If you're yeah, so this new Plus model actually has so many upgrades, right? I mean, it's got the actual fast switching UPS. It's got that little LED light that I just love, you know, to have right on the power station. It's got a little bit more capacity. It's got more AC outlets. It can do twice the solar. And you can hook it up, hook it up to the, those expansion batteries. It's so cool. So to me, it's really a no brainer to get this plus model. The only way, the only reason you should really consider the, uh, the regular River 3 there is, you know, if size and weight is your primary concern. If you're still undecided, then consider a River 3 Plus for versatility and expanding energy storage in the future. When you're ready to expand capacity, you can purchase an extra battery, which is more cost effective than buying a main unit with the same total capacity. So, don't miss out on the EcoFlow River 3 series. Start small and power strong with up to 41% off and get a free river bag. You can also receive an extra 5% discount with the code in the description. Thanks for watching. Yeah, so that's it. I mean, very impressive for something in this size class to have all these features. So let me know, you know, let me know what you guys think. I don't know, would you still consider the River 3 now that you've seen this new Plus model?